sun just ain't shining and there's no end in sight you have faith in the shadows that you'll find the lights it's amazing of you when you're down on your knees you may not get what you want you get what you need as long as your heart's beating there's no bad days you got something to believe in there's no bad days as long as you dream and reach and seek it make no mistake but as long as you're breathing no bad days. Well, thank you very much. My name is Ray Johnston, and I am 20% of the Ray Johnston Band based right here in Dallas, Fort Worth. And on behalf of my band that's not here and me, go Cowboys. Um, what an honor to be here in the Majestic Theater. I'm also a former Dallas Maverick. I made the Dallas Mavericks in 2004. And yes, me and Mark Cuban are good friends. Um, it leads me here today. I, I'm a five-time leukemia survivor. I had a bone marrow transplant in 2008. I got to meet my bone marrow donor. That's a big reason why that song that I uh, co-wrote and recorded, No Bad Days, was written. That song has also been cut by the band Alabama. So that lead, leads me here today. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Sunit Sebastian. I've only known Dr. S for a couple months, but his energy, passion, commitment to cancer patients is awe-inspiring and second to none. I can say with great conviction that HealPal is empowering cancer patients and having impact on their lives. I only wish I could have had HealPal Heal uh, when I was battling my last battle with leukemia six years ago. So. Without further ado, on this fine Wednesday afternoon in Dallas, Texas, introduce a no bad days type of guy who might smile even more than me. Please help me welcome Dr. Sebastian from Hill Pal. So, good afternoon. Thank you, Ray. Your songs are ever so inspiring. I'm so excited to be here to share Heal Pal with you today, where we are empowering the lives of cancer patients every day. My name is Dr. Sunit Sebastian, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Heal Pal. I've been a cancer radiologist for over 10 years with expertise in cancer education, research, clinical trials, and the clinical domains. I have led over 25 clinical trials over my academic career. It would be safe to assume that each one in this room has been touched by cancer. We know somebody, a family, a friend, or a relative one who has gone through that journey. And did you know that one in two men and one in three women are going to be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetimes by the year 2022? And the numbers are pretty sobering. Now, several times during my career, I have felt helpless that I did not have the time or the tools while I was serving my patients. When diagnosed with cancer, patients face the most important challenge of their lives, and they want to know more about their disease. They are dumped with a lot of clinical information by their caregivers and their doctors. There are some respected organizations out there that also provide this information, but it is too long, verbose, and it is very difficult to glean critical information from this. We have developed a solution at HealPal where we provide this information in a very simplified manner, easy to understand, so that patients can take critical decisions about their care. This is indeed empowering. The other major issue that most cancer patients face is one of isolation. Think about not having somebody to talk to or somebody to work with. HealPal has solved this problem by developing a unique matching algorithm that matches one cancer patient to the other in our communities. 
Think about a newly diagnosed patient who gets matched with somebody who's further down the disease line in treatment or as a survivor. They can then share personal experiences about their cancer journey. This is vital insider information. The other problem is finding the right cancer expert and the right clinical trial during the cancer journey. So once matched, these cancer patients can then exchange information about cancer experts who have got successful treatments and also clinical trials that would potentially save their lives. There is a huge opportunity in the United States. There are about 20 million cancer patients in 2016 alone and about 2 million new cases diagnosed in this year. In an industry where we spend about 150 billion on treatment. But there is also a great opportunity to work with pharmaceutical companies where the average cost of research and development of a new cancer drug is about $2.5 billion. And 30% of these trials fail. So since we're building these communities, we can give hot leads to these pharmaceutical companies, thereby decreasing the cost of trials and also getting patients faster to these clinical trials. We have a freemium model for patients and a premium model where we can give them great access to all their data in one place and also enable them to ask questions to a cancer expert. But our revenue really comes from pharma where we get $8,000 to $10,000 for matching a patient to a clinical trial. And I know this because I have run clinical trials in my academic practice. We have great traction to date. We have worked with cancer foundations, and we have 2,100 breast cancer patients using our platform for support, information, and guidance. And we are continuing to work to build our partnerships and increase our user base. We have a great team. My co-founder is an expert in healthcare technology, data security, and algorithms, and great set of advisors who have the experience and expertise to, to help us and guide us along the way. We have competition, but HealPal differentiates itself in forming a unique solution and having great insights into the cancer process. We have a clear vision and timeline going forward about product innovation and also getting into other areas of other cancers. We are raising 850K for hiring top talent and getting uh, new, new users to our platform, and as of this morning, we have a commitment of $200,000 from an angel investor. In closing, HealPal empowers cancer patients, and we give them a fighting chance in their cancer journey. Thank you very much. <laughs>